Open up your browser and type in bigcatrescue.me. Then you'll type in your first name, dot, last name, and your password. This is what we gave you when you first came on as a volunteer. Click Sign In. Up here you'll look for the calendars to add, and it's possible that I've already added some of the calendars. So at the top left, if you click on calendars, if you see a bunch of calendars there, you might already have it. If not, go back, find the calendar you want down at the bottom right hand side. Click the little plus Google calendars. It'll ask you if you want to save it. Say that you do. And you just repeat that process. Go back, find the calendars that you want, click on them, save them to add them to your calendars. And then what I like to do is color code them so that they make sense, so that the green calendar is green, the trainee calendar is red, the partner calendar is orange, the keeper calendar or yellow shirt keeper calendar is yellow, and that way you can tell at a glance whether or not the right number of people will be coming in to cover the day and if we would need you to come in. You can turn these on and off by clicking on the bar at the left and you saw how they were disappearing. You can also change the colors right there with the little drop down arrows. To schedule yourself on the calendar, click Create Event. Choose the time when you'll be coming in. How long you think you will be staying. part that you fill in where it says what would be your first name, a dot, last name, especially if you have a common name so that we know for sure which Jennifer might be coming in that day. And there's the really important part right there. Be sure you put it on one of the calendars other than your personal calendar. If it has your name on the calendar, we can't see it. So make sure that if you're a trainee, you selected the trainee button. If you're a keeper, you selected a keeper calendar and put yourself on there. You can also set these up to repeat, so like if you're going to be coming in the same day and time every week, you could set that up so that you only have to enter it once, and then if you see that you're not going to be here, you could delete that one instance, or you can go back and change it at any time. Click Save. To change it, you find it on the calendar to make sure that you actually show up in the right color for that calendar that you meant to be on and click on the little equal sign down at the bottom. That'll give you a pop-up bubble that tells you what's in there and gives you a link to edit it if you'd like. You can check and make sure if you set it up to happen several times in advance that it's actually showing up on those calendars. And let's say you wanted to make the time that you're going to be here longer or shorter. Just drag that little equal sign up or down to the time of day. Then you can set it to either be for this time or every time or just the times in the future. It's that easy.